Hey guys, it's Melanie with Simple Made Pretty. In this video, I'm sharing how to use the Dollar Tree Peel and Stick Subway Tiles. I ordered a box of 50 of these tiles from my Dollar Tree store and I had it sent to the store so as a store pickup, so it was free shipping. I waited a few weeks and then it came in and I put this on my kitchen backsplash in May of 2020. I already had a wallpaper on my backsplash and in the next video I'm going to show you the difference between the two of them. This tile is more like a plasticky um, raised um, subway tile. It does look very authentic um, and in the sticky side on the back is super sticky. Um, it is one big sticky sheet so it's connected by like one side so if you were to peel that sticky side off you're left with just the plastic tile pieces and um now i'm going to just show you really quickly what this looks like in my kitchen i know you guys are going to ask me why would i take this and put it over this because this looks good but then you get up close and you see all these little bumps and you can see sort of here it's a little discolored i mean we put this up i would say it'll be two years this halloween so you can see it's a little discolored here and you can see these little bumps behind the wallpaper have always bothered me um so that is why I want to do the Dollar Tree version up there and you could see it's like definitely more bluish tone but it also has more of the you know it looks like real tile versus the flat wallpaper okay so the supplies you need are the subway tiles um, scissors a razor blade and I do also recommend a paper cutter I'm using one of my favorite ones, I'm going to link it in the description if you want my paper cutter. So I'm peeling off the plastic protective side on the back and I'm just sticking it right up into the corner of my backsplash wall. And I am putting it right on top of this wallpaper and I think it did help to do that and keep it a little bit more adhesive um, to the wall, especially around the stove because a lot of people said they had a problem with theirs around the stove, but I didn't have any problems. Mine st stayed put. Um, and then once I had two tiles together, you would see this line where the tiles met each other. And so what I did was I took an extra tile and I just cut it down to size. Um, so that there was enough gray around the like one tile to fit over top of that tile that had the line in the middle. And when I did that, the little adhesive sheet, it was on the back, came apart from the actual plastic tile. So I had to kind of figure out how to get that stuck back on. So I just kind of folded it like it was um, double-sided tape so it stuck to it. And then I placed it to cover up that line so you didn't see the seams where they met. And then it was kind of like tiling real tile, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and so I just put it on top and then you didn't even see the seam anymore. And then wherever there was outlets, I cut a little hole for the outlets to stick through using my razor blade. And here is the finished project. And like I said, mine was holding up really good. Um, I hope that you decide to give these a try because I give them two thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this.